The driving force behind the GPU that made all of that happen is computer graphics, real-time computer graphics. Real-time computer graphics has two very important characteristics that comes together in a very powerful way. The first is that computer graphics is computationally unbounded. It takes an enormous amount of computational horsepower to create an image so subtle, so beautiful, that we believe it's real. It is basically recreating virtual reality. It is basically doing physics simulation. The ultimate scientific computing application, simulating physics, generating a virtual reality that is so beautiful that we believe it's real. And yet, the second characteristic about computer graphics is that it is an enormously large market. Usually, high performance applications are small markets. And low computational requirement applications have large markets. It is very, very rare that the two of them come together in this unique way. Computationally unbounded on the one hand, enormous market size on the other hand, the combination affords us enormous R&D budget to advance this computing form. In fact, today, no processor in the world can afford the level of R&D budget that we invest in any single generation. Billions of dollars could be invested into this NVIDIA GPU because the market size is enormous and because the computational demand is utterly unbounded. Computer graphics has come a long ways since we started. Today, NVIDIA pioneers, and we are at the core of what defines modern computer graphics. From material simulations, beautiful lighting and shadows, the reflections, modern computer graphics is nothing short of astounding. And yet, what we really want to do is to do this completely in virtual reality so that we could put ourselves into this world. Virtual reality has been the holy grail of real-time computer graphics for a very long time. In order to achieve virtual reality, the performance has to be utterly incredible because the moment you move your head, you need all the pixels to move instantaneously. You need to be immersed in an environment that you believe to be real. And so what we decided to do was to create the world's first holodeck, the NVIDIA holodeck. The NVIDIA holodeck has several characteristics. The first thing, of course, is that it's physically modeled. Physically modeled means the materials are physically modeled, the surfaces are physically modeled, of course, all of the geometries are physically modeled, the lighting system is physically modeled, so that it looks as real as possible. The goal is not to make it just look beautiful, it has to be beautiful but the goal is to make it also look real. It has, to phys it has to simulate the laws of physics. When you touch something, you have to feel like you're touching something. When you drop something, it has to fall to the ground because in virtual reality, like it is in reality, you have to believe that you're touching and feeling and engaging and interacting with something that is real. You want to be able to share this world with a lot of people that are completely in different places. Virtual collaboration the first example of virtual presence. People from different places around the world can come together in one place and feel like they're there together. And then lastly, it has to have AI. In this future, in this future, some of the characters will be real. They're your friends and colleagues from another, from faraway places. And some of the characters in this world will be AIs. Maybe it's a robot assistant. Maybe it's just another character wandering by. Having AI in this world, helping us, collaborating with us, allows us to create just anything we can imagine. And so with that, let me show you the NVIDIA Holodeck. Hey, guys. I'm uh, Sean. Hey, guys. Hi, Sean. This Hi, Yuko. Hi, Jensen and everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Holodeck. OK. Hey, guys. So, just like well, introduce real... yourself first sure. of all. Who's who? I'm Sean. I'm right here in the middle. Hi, Sean. And this is Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi. 
And I'm Yuko here. <laughs> Yuko. And you guys could be, of course, you guys are all here in Japan, but you can be anywhere. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You、yeah. can be anywhere and you can be together in this place. And when you're in this place together, you can interact with each other. Hey, give each other high fives. <laughs> <laughs> And so, of course, they feel like they're inside this environment together. Sean, show us what you have in the holodeck for us. Sure. Well, I mean, first, it's, it's a holodeck, so it can be any place in any environment we could possibly imagine. We've built a, a laboratory here so that we can explore objects with realistic lightings and shadows and get a real experience and real feel for a design. Let's check out what we can do and what we can show off. Wow. So, this is a, a Lexus. And it's the first luxury coupe from Japan. Wow, it's beautiful. Let's take a, a look inside. Kyle, why don't you hop in the driver's seat there? For sure. So, using MDL, we're able to define mathematically how light should interact with the different properties of materials so that our car paint looks like rich car paint with multiple layers of clear coat and base coats and metallic flake if that's appropriate. If we go to the interior, Kyle can see some of the details of the, the leather and the other finishes that really make this design pop. Hi, <laughs> Yuko. <laughs> and so, of course, you could imagine designers and engineers working together on a major project together. And, they don't, and because these are, these are amazing products and they're heavy products, it's hard to transport them all over the world. Wouldn't it be amazing if? The Lexus is in a virtual world called a holodeck, and all of the engineers and designers can come together and just talk about it and enjoy it together. So, that's some beautiful graphics, but let's explore something that's pretty unique to the holodeck. Using our X ray vision, we can take a look inside of the car to see the beauty that's underneath. Wow. We have the entire drive chain, all the mechanics of the de systems detailed out so that we can really explore it. But let's take a closer look at the engine. Now, here's the thing about the greatest thing about virtual reality. Sometimes you wouldn't want it to obey the laws of physics. Sometimes you don't want it to obey the laws of physics. And now you have X ray vision. You're like Superman. Absolutely. Hey, Yuko, could you pop the hood for me, please? Sure. Here you go. Great. Now, my favorite part of the holodeck is this is way easier to do than it would be in real life. <laughs> oh, be careful. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is actually the entire design database of the Toyota Lexus. So Every single geometry is inside this design. Now, of course, this is not a video game. We've seen video games before, and video games could be very, very beautiful. However, video games are fake, it's not useful for design. Holodeck is designed in order to make it possible for us to really create real products inside. And we can go deep inside of, of how the mechanics work as well. We can、wow. take all of this engine apart, select an individual component, and see what it does, how it fits together with the other parts of the system, and what makes the system really work. Sean, do you know what it is? Oh, this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the crankshaft. Oh, crankshaft. It transfers the energy from the combustion engine into the movement through the transmission. May I take a look? Of course. So it's <laughs> like this. Okay. Oh, you're very strong. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> well, let's clean up our mess a little bit here. That's incredible. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA Holodeck. And what re really makes it special, give it a second. Hey, guys, thank you very much. We, well, hang on a second. Hang、sure. on a second. And so, so what really makes, makes the Holodeck special is, first of all, it ingests, it takes in the original design database of the product in all of its incredible complexities. It obeys the laws of physics, unless you don't want to obey the laws of physics. It has the ability to render the materials so physically accurately that it looks like the real material. That leather looks like leather. Bless you. Leather looks like leather. Brushed aluminum looks like brushed aluminum. Steel looks like steel. 
and car paint looks like car paint. Beautiful headlights look like beautiful headlights. The computer graphics is physically accurate. And then lastly, it is, has the ability to support virtual presence so that engineers and designers from all over the world can come together in this one place and gives you the sense of virtual presence. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Sayonara. Sayonara. So, ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA Holodeck. Uh, we can accept uh, design databases from Katia and Siemens and Creo and Alias. You import it into the, the CAD design package, is then imported into the styling package, 3DS Max or Maya. Then it's imported into the Holodeck. These are all industry standard tools with all of the industry standard formats. As a result, almost anything could be imported into the NVIDIA Holodeck. Once it's imported into the NVIDIA Holodeck, you can have virtual reality experiences that are far and wide apart, and so that engineers and designers can come together in this environment and share it. Managers could then look, look at this design and be able to make trade-offs, trade-offs and what-ifs, try different materials and different wheels, and who knows, one of these days we'll be able to use this to even purchase and design your own car. The NVIDIA Holodeck.